Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So as promised, I have an H&M try on haul to take you guys through. So I did an ASOS haul the other day. If you guys haven't seen that, I will link that here. But I've been saying that I just want to like expand my autumn wardrobe a little bit. I feel like it just looks a little bit stale. So I'm on the lookout for some really nice kind of curve friendly autumn bits. So I've done a massive order from H&M as well. So I'm going to run you through the bits now. Just to recap, size wise, generally speaking, I'm about a UK 16 on top, UK 18 on bottom, and I am five foot seven. So let me show you all the bits I got. Okay, first thing I got is a two piece pajama set. So it's this long kind of neutral colored. It looks a bit like a kind of sweater but it's like a really really nice kind of thin more t-shirty material um so really nice kind of beige it has this embroidered detailing on it and a big one on the back as well the one on the back's not embroidered it's just like a big smiley face this one is embroidered i always prefer when they're embroidered because i feel like they last longer they wash a lot better they just look more expensive so i love the color of this love the kind of nice cozy oversized feel the bottom, so you have to buy it as a set. The bottoms I got are grey leggings, but they are not these ones. They are <laughs> these ones. And they are friggin' tiny. Um, I like struggled to get my foot through the leg hole. So I got the whole set in a size large, which I think is fine for my upper half, but like I didn't even try these on because I don't know if you can see. I think I don't think you can see it on camera, but they are literally completely see-through even when I just hold them up so I was like I know I'm not gonna like the bottoms I'm not even gonna bother like stretching them out to try them on so that's a bit of a shame because you do have to buy it as a set but the bottoms are just so cheap and horrible and come up really really tiny so like I said I got this in a large which I would, is my normal size from H&M but I would need to get it in an extra large to be able to fit into the leggings I like the size of the top though it's nice and baggy it's nice and comfortable yeah, so anyway, I have also ordered some separate pajama bottoms, which these ones are much better. So they're just like a kind of like dark charcoaly gray. They look like a jogging bottom, but they're really nice and thin. Super high waisted, stretchy, comfortable. Length on the leg, it's like cuffed at the bottom, hitting me absolutely perfectly. So as pajama bottoms go, these ones are good. The ones that came with the set hard no so like i said i got the pajama set in a size large um and it was 18 pounds the whole set which i did think was really really good but i don't know i don't know if i love this top enough to kind of keep it let me think about it this actually would be a really good like just normal day-to-day -day shirt um it's like nice comfortable floaty long sleeve you know i like the color of it um but then these pajama bottoms i got separately are an extra large in the dark gray and they were only 10 pounds so really affordable pajama bottoms um a much better quality than the ones that come with this right next up i ordered a couple of dresses so that's one thing i want to add more of to my wardrobe it's just some nice comfortable dresses that i can team with some like thick tights boots there's dogs running around everywhere um and this is quite a tight dress but i actually absolutely love this so this is from the maternity nursing kind of range i've said this before don't be afraid to shop in the kind of nursing range because i found some really good things from that previously especially when it comes to like bras if you look at the nursing bras they make really really good sleep bras for anyone who sleeps in bras but i saw this dress and i loved the cut of this so it's kind of a weird one so it has this kind of cropped bit sewn in so it obviously has like an opening there not that you would see when it's on and then this bit kind of crosses over and ties so you have this really nice wrap effect you would never ever in a million years know this is a nursing bra it doesn't affect anything um but it's really nice because you get that nice kind of crossover v detail you have this here so you're not going to flash too much boobs so if anyone doesn't like anything too low cut then this would be great and it gives you that really nice kind of hourglass shape it kind of cinches you in the sleeves on it are really good like flattering length as well 
it is on the shorter side but like I said I would wear this with tights and boots and stuff so I don't think that matters too much super comfortable it's like a really nice kind of thick jersey material so I feel really comfortable it's nice and stretchy I can move in it I don't feel like it's too clingy sometimes t-shirt dresses can just feel like they're highlighting all your lumps and bumps and stuff whereas I don't feel like this is like that but it also follows my body really well even before I did the wrap bit it feels really curve friendly so I'm absolutely in love with this I got this in a size large I think the sizing is absolutely perfect for what I want this was $24.99 so I think that's definitely worth it it's definitely a kind of nice stable dress you could wear this to work wear it with heels out in the evening put a bit of jewelry on you can even wear it with um in summer with like pumps or anything like that so it's definitely like a good all year round dress i know it's boring because it's black <laughs> i wear a lot of black i love it i've got another black dress to show you guys but i honestly think this is a great staple and also i have a really cute cardigan that i picked up from Matalan. so i think that would look really cute over the top of this it would give it more of like an autumnal cozy vibe so yeah if you haven't checked out my Matalan try on haul video i will link that here as well in case you guys want to go check it out okay next dress another black one um this is really cool actually i normally really struggle with shirt dresses but this is fitting so well it's this really nice kind of linen blend dress Again, this is perfect for if anyone's going back to the office. You can tell that I am because I'm definitely on the hunt for clothes that are like office appropriate. Um, yeah, I really like it. Again, I think this is a really good all round dress because you could definitely wear this in summer as well. Um, the material is that really nice kind of thin floaty linen type material. Um, the kind of shirt dressness of it makes it look really nice and formal. I've got it buttoned all the way up because i just thought that looked quite cute but you could always you know undo a couple of buttons if you want it a bit lower cut yeah it's got this little tie belt so it is slightly boxy but nowhere near as bad as the majority of the dresses that i've tried on of this kind of style but you've got a little belt here you can tie it in the length on it's really good as well actually i hate when they kind of feel like you're going to sit down and they're going to try it up loads so yeah really nice comfortable I'd say it's definitely curve friendly looks nice and smart the buttons on it look really good quality as well that nice kind of tortoiseshell effect um the only the only thing that I can floor is the buttons are so far apart that it's kind of a little bit gapy that's the only thing I wouldn't say it's a deal breaker for me but just something to bear in mind but yeah another really good dress so size wise, I got this one in a large as well. I think that fit really, really well. And this is 25 pounds. It's a shame they don't have it in like different colors because I do think this would look so much nicer and maybe like something that's not black. I don't know, like a stone kind of color or something. But this is the only one that I could see. I'm sure they'll have loads of similar stuff online. So it's always worth going and checking it out. Okay guys, next outfit. I look like I'm trying to be a spy or something. So let me talk you through the top first. Um, this is another item from the nursing range. I am in love with these items. Um, it's just this long sleeve wrap over top. So similar to before, you've kind of got this like crop top bra situation built in. This bit is sewed in and all you do is just wrap this bit over the top. So you can definitely tighten it, loosen it as much as you want. But I think this is a really great option for um, curves because I tend to struggle with stuff like, I don't want it super clingy, but I want it to accentuate my waist, um, but not be like highlighting all my lumps and bumps on my stomach and stuff. Sometimes I feel like the options are like a lot of chunky knit jumpers. This is great for layering up. So if you want to put a nice jacket coat on top, you can very much do that. It's a very nice kind of thin, material it's actually slightly ribbed which i think is really nice it makes it look a little bit more higher quality so again you have that nice like deep v but you're not going to flash anyone because you've got this little built-in camisole but what's really good is that with this and the dress it doesn't feel like you've got an extra layer there if that makes sense it doesn't feel like i've got a bra and a bra and then a top on it's it's so built in it just feels like very seamless 
but yeah i love the shape that this is giving me it's nice comfortable absolutely perfect size wise obsessed with this so definitely 1000 percent recommending whether you have kids or not going and checking out the kind of nursing range because genuinely they're curve friendly i'm so obsessed with this and then i've teamed it up with these leggings so thought process behind these basic bitch leggings basically i live my life in leggings but i always wear sports leggings sometimes i want to put on leggings with a nice top jumper boots and i feel like all the leggings i have look like sports leggings do you know what i mean they just look a bit silly when i put them on with like nicer boots but i love the comfort of a legging so i got these ones which are more of like a jersey blend so like a matte legging they are really nice and high waisted so they have this super thick band here i'm not going to spend too long talking about these because firstly they are super duper long i'm five seven so i'm not exactly on the short side they're bunching up around like my knees are just way too long and also as soon as i bend over even in the slightest they're super see-through so i wouldn't recommend them they're very cheap ones but personally i just don't think they're worth it um so let me talk you through sizing and pricing so top got this in a large sizing's perfect i feel like i could get away with a smaller size i do have like some excess but i think i'm happy with this size so if you're kind of like i don't know undecided between two sizes I would go for the smaller size because you can kind of adjust this and you know make it looser or whatever so that's what I would do it was 18 pounds I think that's great pricing for the quality and the fit and everything and the leggings were nine pounds I got them in a size large <sighs> like even if I sized up I just don't think they're good enough quality did I say how much they were nine pounds I think you get what you pay for really don't you with a nine pound pair of cotton leggings it's just a no-go but the top perfect whilst i'm in this all black outfit i thought it'd be a good time to try on this blazer so love me a blazer i just think it looks so smart i really really struggle i don't actually really have any blazers in my wardrobe because i really struggle to find ones that actually fit me that are fitted it seems like the trend is to have massive oversized ones i think these look great but for someone with curves, they just tend to swap me and make me look way bigger. Um, so I saw this one. This is teeny tiny, but I do quite like it. So it's kind of like a linen blend. I think this color is stunning. I love the kind of stone. You guys know I wear a lot of like white, black denim. I think this will be a really good like all rounder jacket. But the tailoring on it, ta tailoring, tailoring. Why did that sound weird? It's pretty fitted. I think it's like the fit of this is really good. Um, it's a slightly shorter style, but I've got a massive bum and I feel like when they are longer, they kind of just hit my bum and look a bit weird anyway. So I'm not mad about that. Um, I got this in a size 18. It's teeny tiny. Like I said, I normally take about 16 on top. I thought I'd get it in an 18 in case I want to wear like jumpers and stuff under it. Oh my gosh, like that's the motion I've got right there. It feels like it's gonna rip open. So it is, I, I want this like two sizes bigger. So I'd need to get a 22. Um, quality is really good. The fit is really good. It just comes up teeny tiny. This was 25 pounds, which I think is actually really good value, especially for the quality. You would never think this is like a cheapy H&M blazer. Some blazers retail for like, at least 40 quid so i do think this is a really good option and i love the texture on it because so many blazers are that smooth kind of fabric and has it got pockets oh, i don't know um yeah so many blazers are that kind of smooth fabric and it can look a little bit cheapy but having it a kind of more linen vibe just automatically in my opinion elevates it a bit but yeah i might go and see if i can get this in a bigger size let me double check the label actually yeah, it says it's an 18, unless they have sewn in the wrong label. Oh well, I'm gonna reorder this, I think, because I do really like it. Right. <laughs> so, next up I have this blouse. Um, I'm not vibing with this whatsoever. So the reason I got this is because of the peplum. 
um i do love a peplum top i feel like every single peplum top i try on at the moment is more of a kind of smock peplum which is just not what i want i love a peplum top because generally speaking they kind of follow your shape like that and then give you a nice kick out which accentuates your curves i love that i think they're super flattering if you have an any outy figure this one's just not doing that for me it's making me look like just really dumpy um the fabric on this super thin like you can just completely see my granny bra underneath it's just not what i want um and i hate this style of sleeve i really hate it i just find it really unflattering i think if you've got bigger boobs it could just make you look super broad and kind of big on top i just feel like i don't know i'm not loving this so i got this in a size large it's kind of tight on my boobs and then just loose like absolutely everywhere else it's not flattering the quality's not great this is only eight pounds but i think you can tell because it looks rubbish so this one is going to be returned okay guys last but not least i got myself this hoodie i can't tell if i love this or if i absolutely hate it so h&m do loads of like graphic kind of t-shirts jumpers um they have like other brands like disney and stuff as well i saw this one tune squad so it's a really nice neutral color hoodie has some graphic prints down the sleeve there has a giant kind of print on the back same kind of oh no that one doesn't have any prints um yeah i don't know i just thought it was a bit more fun i thought this would just i don't know i feel like i do wear a lot of plain stuff so this would be a little bit more fun this right so like i said i normally wear a large on top this was listed as an oversized hoodie and i actually sized up and got it in an extra large and i don't think it's that oversized the sleeves are really short on it like really short every time i stretch my arms out like do you know what i mean so sizing on this is teeny tiny really bad i hope that this kind of reminds you guys that when you do shop at cheaper brands the sizing is super inconsistent so don't let it get you down if something doesn't fit the way you think it should or you want it to it's not about you it's about the clothes um i used to let things like that really get me down but it is just the cheap manufacturing so please 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 don't let it bother you it's them not us so yeah i would not i'd say this is like roomy but it's not oversized and i wanted this like oversized big comfy cozy weekend hoodie yeah i'm not entirely sure i like it so this is 20 pounds which is super affordable for a hoodie quality is okay just okay um i just do love this um what am i saying i love this color this kind of like stony beige color and i like that it has something interesting on it i don't think this is the kind of interesting i actually want though so yeah let me know what you guys think if you think i'm mental thinking this is nice or not right guys that is everything from me today so overall a pretty successful shop i think my favorite items have to be the two nursing items i got the dress and the top i'm honestly gobsmacked and i feel like there are probably a lot of people out there who wouldn't think about shopping in the kind of nursing range um and i see why but i think it's so worth it i thought the sizing was spot on really curve friendly really nice items so definitely worth checking that out this was definitely way more successful than my asos haul i am a fan of h&m but it can be hit and miss which i know that you guys find that as well i will link everything i tried on down in the description box in case you guys do want to go check anything out but i hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you have please don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it really supports my channel and if you haven't already subscribed don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss an upcoming video and until next time i will see you guys later